Ah, you're back again. Wait, what is it? You see something different in the background. You're right. That's our brand new video infographics homepage. So what is infographics? Well, you're about to see. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an infographic video all by yourself. Once you log in, you will find the different themes in the right top corner of your computer screen. To enable our new theme, select infographics from the drop-down list. There you go. Now, coming to the features. Those familiar with Animaker's basic features can skip the next 30 odd seconds. But for the newbies, Animaker has four sections, scene, timeline, library, and workspace. Let's begin with scenes. You can see the scene section located at the left side of your computer screen. You can add, delete, or duplicate your scenes easily in a single click. To preview what you've added, click on the button that is in the bottom of your computer screen. It will play each scene individually. If you want to view your video from the beginning, click on the Play button. The duration of your video can be adjusted using the buttons below the Play button. Each scene comes with a default of 10 seconds. The next section is the timeline. The timeline has three sections. The object timeline, the camera timeline, and the music timeline. As you can remember, you can drop objects and text from the library into the workspace. and adjust the duration of each object in the timeline according to your convenience. The camera timeline allows you to zoom in and out of the objects and bring a focus to it. You can adjust the duration of your focus using the camera timeline. The music timeline plays your music as long as you want it. Just drop in your music file in the desired duration and adjust the timing. These three timelines collaborate to give you a professional touch. Now comes the library section. You can find it on the right side of your computer screen. Since this is infographics, we have a bunch of new assets in place of characters which you can find in the 2D theme. It is loaded with all new elements, which has a collection of animated charts, numbers, and maps, especially maps. When you select each category, you can see each category has some customizable properties. Under the Charts category, there are a variety of charts available. For example, a pie chart, a normal bar chart, a stacked bar chart, a line graph, area graph, a pictograph, and even a table.
Let us see how it works. Select a stacked chart. It can be used to compare three different data simultaneously. Click on the icon, Enable Property. You can see a window appear on the left-hand side of your screen. The left screen panel consists of a chart data, chart styles, chart settings, and effects. The chart data lets you add or delete columns and rows, as well as alter the data. But remember, the number is limited to 20 rows. And I believe 20 is a lot. The chart styles gives you an opportunity to select any style that you want. For example, a thick bar, a thin bar, or a normal bar. The chart settings lets you customize your charts. You can customize the color theme, the fonts of the text, values, percentage, and other important details. And the Effects section includes the Enter and Exit effects of the selected asset. So let us see how we can animate the bar. You need to first select the Record option. Place the thumb where you want it to change. Make the changes in the data at subsequent intervals. And add the pins. Once you're done with it, you need to update it. When you animate, you will see that it changes from the previous values to the current given values through the process. Not only that, you can use the record option to move your charts. All the charts work in a similar way. You can watch the data animate using the record mode. A special kind of chart here is icon chart. It can convey the context of the data using icons. For example, if you want to show the social media activity, you can show it easily by using icons. We have a large collection of icons. You even have an option to change the colors of the icons. This can be used if you want to illustrate a data of a single category. For example, the amount of activity of Facebook, Facebook icon showing likes, shares, and comments.
If you want to show the time, count down or use a stop timer, or numbers category can come in handy. You can set a start time and end time. And animate the process. We have a lot of number styles that can show the transition between one number to the other. As far as currency goes, we have denominations of all major countries. It is precisely valued according to the particular country's currency. You can change the color and the style of the currency symbol. Now coming to the most important as well as exciting part of the tutorial, maps. We have about 3,000 plus collection of maps that are good to go with the major ones for you to use. There are different styles of maps available. Area, network, location, tile, single tile, full tile. So without any further ado, let us see how these maps can be used. Let's say you have a company that has branches all over the world. You can show this by using the location style map. All you need to do is select the world map from the list. Once selected, you can go to the properties window and select the location style map. Upon selection, you will see the icons already popped up from the continents. If you have a branch in all continents, including Antarctica, then fine, go ahead. But if you want to show branches in specific parts, you can go to Map Data and edit your data, edit existing location, or even add another location. Let us add some locations for now. Ta-da! Now, if you want to change the icon, you can do that by selecting the round button next to the place's name. Let me show you. I'm now going to select Europe and change its icon to that of an airplane. There you go. Let us press the play and see how it animates. But before that, we need to select if the animation should be paralleled or sequential. You can enable or disable the parallel action by selecting this button. Now, let us see how it animates. That's great. Let us now explore the other styles of maps. How about network map? Network map can be used to show how two different places are connected or how one can travel from one place to another. For example, if you wanna go from Australia to North America, all you need to do is select the add location button and enter your from and to place. Once done, you will be shown a tab regarding all other details like the angle of the curve, the color of the curve, the icon, its color. After selecting all of them to your choice, you can animate them. But if you want to go to multiple places, you can achieve that by adding more locations. So let us now add more locations and see how it animates. That is awesome. Similarly, you can also use tile map style to show something like the amount of rainfall in a particular place.
Okay, let us now take a look at other new features. Oh wait, what is that? It's the new text pre-builts. First of its kind, you can now add important and visually gorgeous pre-built text animations to your video. We have also added a special effects category that can give you the majestic look that even animation studios can only dream of. So how about you take a minute and create a scene using charts, numbers, and another scene using maps, and a final scene using special effects and text pre-builts. Let us see how your video has worked. Click on Preview. Whoa! That is what we call an infographics video. Awesome. See you guys. Hope you had a great time.